Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter, and I'm here today with a little bit of a product review sort of thing. Um, you may or may not know, a few years ago I used to design um, silicone moulds for a company called KTC Designs here in the UK. They were for cake decorating mainly, although they could be used for resins and they could be used for air drying clay and other products. Um, what the kind of people at KTC do is, if they ever have a product now that comes through their development team that they think maybe I would enjoy, they send me it very kindly. Thank you very much for that, KTC. And they've sent me this, and I thought, well, wow, I'm loving this. Um, basically, 332 butterflies. I'll show you more when we get into it. And the company is called KTC Designs. They're based here in the UK. I will endeavour to put a link to this product in the description box, which is either going to be a little gravy, or if there's a description that says read more, click on that, it'll drop down. That will take you through to the British website. They're an international company in that they will ship anywhere in the world. Um, I'm not going to give a price for this because the price will depend on currency exchange if you're in another country. It'll depend on whether you've got free PMP or whether you're paying P you get it. Okay, you absolutely get it. So I'm not going to labor the fat. Um, but I really like this. So let's open this. Excuse the noise of cellophane being opened. If I can actually open the cellophane. I'm horrible at these things. Right, trick though, when you open a piece of cellophane, if you fold the end over and it sticks to itself, it's not going to stick on itself again when you try and put it inside, which is what I like to do. Okay, so let's take take everything out so I don't have to deal with this crinkly packaging. So, if you happen to not work, if the link doesn't work for you, if you search a kaleidoscope of butterflies and go for KTC designs, it will find it for you. Um, I know they've got an American distributor. I know they've got a British distributor because obviously they're, they're here in the UK. Um, but more than that, I don't really know. So let's leave that to one side. So what it is, it's two sheets of butterflies. A sheet of brights and a sheet of pastels and what's fabulous is they're double-sided butterflies so that's the first thing now need to remember these are not is it entomology they're not insect correct let's put that i'd say they're more of a fantasy type butterfly oh there are a few here that do represent maybe a monarch butterfly or swallow butterflies things like that but i love these and the other reason i like these uh, you get it, I like these, I is, okay guys, look at this, let's, let's choose a dark one. So if I pull the paper apart and click it out, it's already fussy cut for me. Can you see that? Do I need to put that on something white? Let's put it on there. So it's already fussy cut for me, and the way they've cut it, I don't have any white bits around the edges. That in its own is a fabulous thing to think about. So, and they're quite a good card, um, paper card stock. What, what GSM are they? It says 150 GSM, which is um, a moderate, it's sort of between um, probably a presentation paper and a card. It's, it's robust enough. I mean, if any thicker, it would be a bit too heavy. So that's one reason I really like these. We'll play with these in a moment. But then the other thing I like about these, let's see if I pull out one of the pastel ones. Okay, let's go for this little one here. Let's take you out of there. Okay. That's on the end of my little finger. Let's put something white under here so it can show you. That's on the end of my little finger. How many fussy cut butterfly kits have you seen that have got butterflies that small? And that's perfect for an ATC, for a little accent piece in a journaling card or a tiny little, they're just fabulous. So I happen to have two sets of them, um, two sets of scissors. So this is what 332 butterflies, well 333, I'm throwing that one in there now, look like when they're all popped out. I love the fact that half of them are pastel, and half of them are bright, gives me options. If you're just starting out in paper crafting, now these I'm talking about for journals, these make fabulous pieces for um, card makers and toppers and things like that. 332 is a really good stash builder. So, okay, Ooh, did I just hit you? No, I didn't hit you. Okay, so let's move on. Let's let's play with these a little bit. I'm just going to keep it really simple, guys, because I don't want this video to be a million years long. So I'm going to put these on one side. Right, I've got a couple of tear rulers with me. I've got some scissors over there. Um, and what I've done is I just grabbed a whole handful of scraps. 
because goodness knows who hasn't got scraps like this. So I thought, let's make a couple of little clusters as we go along. I'm not going to spend ages doing it, but I just wanted to have a play because I haven't had a chance to play yet. No, oh, look, there you go. That's a gel print of mine. So let's just take that off there. Probably purple on pink is not the best of ideas. So let's add a little something. To it. Okay, purple and orange are almost complementary. So let's put that bit of that in there. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Right, and I'm going to take a little bit, little stapler. Now, I don't have one of those Tim Holtz mini staplers. I just have a mini stapler from my local station shop. So I've just stapled those together. Next thing I do is I'm going to choose my butterfly. So I think I'd like, because there's yellow there, maybe use this yellow one here. So I could have stapled through the body of the butterfly. Um, however, and then I'd have to put some sort of jewel or something in the center to have covered up the staple. But if I glue this, I'm using art glitter glue. If I just glue that into place over the top of the staple, leave that to dry. There you go, that's the cluster done. And clusters are fabulous. We all use clusters all the time. Um, I just don't use them enough probably. Right, oh, it's a bit of white card stock. What's that doing in there? Oh, I like that. Let's see if I can find something a little more a little more floral, should we say. Actually, I like that as well. I think that was... Hmm, I think that came in some happy mail somewhere. Right, and this is okay. Um, right, let's have a bit of a tear here. Um, let's go for my metal ruler. Where's my metal ruler? Metal ruler will give me a cleaner, cleaner tear. And I'm okay with that. So I'm going to make a reasonably large cluster this time. Now, clusters can be used as toppers, they can be used um, as accent pieces, they can be they can be used in any way, shape or form basically. Anything that you're going to stick, um, let's do that, I want something else on that's going to just lighten the colour up a little bit. What's this I see poking out of here? That's a bit too big. So sorry, just having a bit of a dig. This is what happens when you don't plan things. Actually, I know. I've got a little bit of lace somewhere. I'll just grab a little piece of lace. So if I just put that together, where's my little stapler? Pop my little stapler in. Now, of course, you can glue these. You could actually come in and do more than glue them. You could sew them if you really needed to. Ooh. Why do I grab the glue when I haven't even got a butterfly? Let's put a little bit of glue on there. Now, I'm using art glitter glue because I use art glitter glue. You can use whichever glue you've got handy that is actually of use that you know that glue stuff down. Pop that on there. And that's another cluster done. Let's pop that up there. Right. Um, I quite liked this, actually. It must have been a stamped piece. I don't mind that green as well. Right, we've done that. Let's find something a little more... A little more wow, should we say. Oh, actually... That's considerably more wow. Well, let's do a longer cluster. Right, so I quite like long, thin clusters. I like that and that. I think that's a little bit lost. What's this? Mm, no. You're probably all shouting at the screen now, aren't you? That's not going to work for me either. I keep going back to this because I really like this, so I have to start avoiding it because I'll just keep on using it. Actually, what's this? Sorry, you can't see I'm rooting through this. Actually, I wonder. Let's see if I can just snip the edges off this. Let's snip right down that join and make this into a frame. It's a bit lost in that background, isn't it? So I like that idea. I want to change the background up a bit. So it's like, sorry, I've got stuff all over the place here. Um, I can probably go out of my way. Sorry, a little bit of an insight, indecisive moment here. Right, let's take a piece of this. It's possibly going to be too big, but I don't mind a large cluster. Because the thing is, the large clusters sometimes 
become focal points on a journal cover for me. Right, let's take that out of the way. Of course, we're making more scraps as we go along. Right, that can go there, that can go there, that can go there. That's going to bug me because it's slightly unbalanced. Let's just take a little bit off the edge of there. Normally I'm not as picky, but I don't know why today I am being a little more picky than normal. I wonder if I have it linked so it comes through that. I can deal with that. Right. I think this is going to have to be glued down, however, because the problem is, of course, I can't put a staple through the two sides because that would just annoy me. Just a little bit of art glitter to glue down the sides. Just enough to hold it in place. I wanted that through there, didn't I? Pop that down there. That's good, so I can move the inside piece. I'm wondering what else I want to put on here. Let me just have a little bit of a look. I've got, I've got bits and pieces made up. Just trying to find something that that actually works. Let's stick that on there. Um, I think this was made just out of a piece of washi tape. The, um, the washi tape was actually then st stuck on some book page. A little bit of that in there just to hold it in place. Um, yes, about there will do. My art glitter glue is leaking all over the place. It's driving me a little bit to distraction. Right, got that on there. Right, I need a butterfly on here. I'd like one. Let's pull those in so you can actually see what I'm looking at. Now, there is something I did find out, by the way. I pulled all mine off the sheet and put them in here. If you do buy these, leave them on your sheet. It's far easier to look at a sheet and then go, ooh, I'm looking for that butterfly there and just pop it out because you can see all the butterflies in the glance. Um, so just something to think about. For me, I, I pull them off because it's my nature to put things into boxes and stuff like that. And I shouldn't have. I should have actually just left them all on the sheet. I think I'm just going to put a staple through this to hold it. And I come in, I've got a little bit of art glitter glue that's dripped onto my work surface. So I'm just going to dip the butterfly into it. Do I want anything else on there? I think I might want to put a flower on there. I think I've got a few of few flowers from Shah's Crafty Shop left over. Yes, let's do that. Um, these are from Shah's Crafty Shop on Etsy. Um, I'm not sure whether she always has them in stock. Um, I particularly like them. I need to probably order some more, to be honest with you. I wonder whether I just, that's better if I stick it half under and half over. There you go, that's another one done. I'm just laying these up here to actually dry. I did have a bit of an idea of how to use something earlier on. I was playing around before. I'm waiting for my iPad to charge up. So this is one I made before as well. I just used a die cut. Oh, actually I've got die cuts. Where are my die cuts? I don't use my die cuts enough. It's probably because they're in the bottom drawer. Right, let's have a look through the die cuts. I like die cuts as bases. Like there you go, there's a leaf. Let's let's have a play with a leaf. Um quite like the leaf to be on something. That's a bit too green for me. Even for me, that's too green. I wonder whether I can just do it without without so I've got a bit of lace which way around the lace lace goes this way no nope, that's not going to work for me no, I've got something with some script on it or writing so I don't normally work like this I normally have everything neatly to one side but I thought I just want to do a quick video and I just grabbed an entire handful what's that that's a bit of Tim Holtz, I think. Right, okay, Tim, we're going to use you. Let's pop that on there. I'd quite like something. Hmm. 
There's that ruler gone. I've lost the rule. I've buried the rulers, guys. Buried the rulers, right. Just something a little bit wider than that. Oh. Um, this is a bit of a gel print that I've actually done. I'm just going to tear this down. So it's got a bit of a rough edge to it. That works for me there. Um, I wonder. Right, let's just... I'm going to put a line of glue along the back of this one. Just to hold it in place. Because I normally put the butterfly over where I've put... Um, the staple but I don't always put the staple where I want the butterfly if that makes sense come on I've got a new a new art glitter glue I'm just trying to get the very last dregs of this one out it needs to be on its side let's just pick up the bits that are on my counter over there so that's a little bit there right do I need anything else on here before I start selecting a butterfly possibly I'm thinking of something in there um, Got some of these little things. I've started putting my um, ephemera pieces in in these plastic um, containers lately, purely because I'm finding that I keep them in boxes and portfolios, and and I don't actually use them enough because I find it very hard to find stuff in there. I'm just going to staple that one in place at the bottom. And I think I'm going to put a little dab of glue at the top so it doesn't get caught on anything. Come on, Mr. Art Glitter Glue, you can do this. There you go. So that's in place. And now we need to find a butterfly for that. Um, I think I'd like to find a yellow butterfly because of that. Let's go back to the sheet. Right. That's a cute little butterfly. I wonder if that's too small or not. So they pop out so easily. Actually, that is so darn cute. It's really cute. Let's use that one. Let's get a little bit of glue on the back of that butterfly. I think I've eventually come to the end of my art glitter glue. I thought it was like a magic bottle that never ended. Right. I'm just using my tweezers to press them down for no other reason and this is the size of my hands. So I struggle when it comes to actually doing small stuff. I think I'd like something in there. And I think I'd like to have a number or something. Um, maybe a word. Right, let's see. See what words we've got. These are ones I've stamped myself onto off cuts of coffee dyed paper. And these have come from somewhere and I can't remember where. Probably somewhere on Etsy as I said I'm I I can't actually remember where I buy my supplies from it's just there's just so much to try and remember actually special day special day is cute let's put special day across there and I think this is going to be glued on as well I could use a glue stick for that, but I'm not going to. So that's another one. Right, let's put the lid back on that before I knock these over and drop them. Right, we were looking at die cuts, weren't we? That's what else have I got in here that makes a nice die cut? I like using circles. This is a way I sometimes use up scraps like, yes, these are gel prints. I will very often do something like that. Actually, that's quite a cute one, isn't it? Now, um, some of you may use distress inks on them. I sometimes use distress inks, but not always. So I, if I'm going to distress, I usually distress once, once I've decided what the project is that it's going to be used on. All these things are getting on my nerves. Right, that needs to come over. That's a bit... It's very, very neutral, Griffiths. Let's just take that bit down a bit. I think I can do that. I want something behind it. I'm not sure what you can actually see over here, guys. I'm just... I would like something behind it. 
It just needs a pop of something and I'll know it when I see it. That's, that's not it. Oh, what's this? It's a bit of speckly something. Let's just take the edges off this. I think this must be a book page that's been ink splattered, judging by the look of that. So I take that and that. Now you could round the corners and very often I will round the corners. I'm not sure. Oh, actually. So I'm getting far, far too texty, aren't I? I don't mind that. At the end of the day, I'm just using up scraps. Ooh, could have been straighter, but there you go. Right, let's put a little bit. Oh, I need to find a butterfly. Let's pull the butterflies out. Right, so I've got lime green. Have I got something that's got a punch of green in it? That little one has. I'll find one that really speaks to me. There's just so many to choose from, that's the problem. Actually, let's use this little so and so. Come out of there, you. Right, so we've got this little one to give it a little, I'm giving it a little bend in, in its body. Um, you don't have to, you may actually decide that you want to glue them down completely. I like to leave the wings to flap, if only to give me the option of later on, I may want to glue them down. Right, and I do think that needs something there. That looks a bit naked to me. Sorry about that, I couldn't find my numbers. Right, these are just little stamped numbers that I've stamped myself onto spare bits of book page or I've harvested from stuff. As you know, you've seen me do this before. I wonder the little block of numbers would be cute in there. I'll tuck that in there. I think, oh, just knock the butterfly around. I think I just want to come in and I do want to just give this a little bit of an edge with some distress ink. This is vintage photo purely because, well, besides, besides I can, um, because it just needs a little something. Right, let's get a bit of glue stick on the back of this one. Let's bring you in a glue on there. So um, things like this, guys, are just completely great for building up a stash. Now. Butterflies for me are one thing I use a lot. So to have variety of butterflies is always great. Not to have to fussy cut them is even better. I like that, that's cool. Um, should we do one more? One, two, two, four, six. Let's do two more, I like, I like even numbers. Right, let's just see what I've got over here that's, that's speaking to me. Right. Let's just pull a piece of card out. I really like this one. This was this was a gel print. Um, let's take that bit off the end. That's cool. Right, let's see. Purple is complementary to that. <laughs> it's a, that. That's not a good thing on video, is it? You can't see diddly squat. That's nice and fresh looking, isn't it? I'm going to tear that down a bit. Um, am I worried that things aren't straight edged or whatever? No, I just I just go for it. I'm I'm not overly worried about anything like that. This this is just a cluster. Right, I do like the thought of a little bit of music paper in there, and maybe it can go behind. Nope, needs to go in front. Is there anything else I want on there? Maybe that's enough. Uh, Pop my little staple in. Um, see if I've got a larger one on here. Actually, I can just see the perfect one. This one here. I love. I just love the fact that I don't have to ink around the edges, and there's no white places on it. Right, that's gonna be fabulous. There. Pick you up. I can't pick it up. So I think that's gonna go there. But I think I'd like a little label or something in there. Let's just grab some of these. these Tracy Fox. I think these are Tracy Fox labels. That one's not bad, actually. I love a Tracy Fox label. Sorry, I'm not sure you can see me. I love a Tracy Fox label. Oh, 
That's probably a bit too big. Is that? Ooh, what's that little one there? That's the one. No, nope, it's not. It is this one. Right, let's stick with the first choice. Should we, Griffiths? So I'm just going to stick this down. Make sure it's the right way up. Just using a bit of art glitter glue purely because it's easier just to hold everything in place. I right, like that on there. I'm looking over here and I have another one of those lace pieces. Maybe I'll just put a little dab of art glitter glue in there as well. Just to hold that in place. Little bit of texture. A little bit of glue where the butterfly will go. And I've lost my tweezers. Where are the tweezers gone? Oh, buried. Right. Give that a little bit of a touch down there. Now, if you are someone who wants to put gems in bodies and things like that, um, as you can see, I mean, I did it with this one. I put gems in it. Um, it's the perfect thing for butterflies. These butterflies don't have antennae. Now, um, arguably, when you fussy cut, I tend to cut mine off anyway. What I would do is just go in with a really fine marker, like a black liner, and just put antennae in. If that bothers you, doesn't bother me in the slightest. Right, so we've got two, four, six, seven. Let's do one more. And then I quite like that actually. Let's see about something to do with that. No, it's a bit confusing, too much for the eye. So is that. So is that. What's this? That's quite cute. Let's do let's do a wider one. I've buried the ruler again. Let's do a wider one. Um, I believe. This paper may be from a card pack. I think it might be Crafter's Companion here in the UK. Um, can't 100% confirm that because I don't remember. It's a scrap. Um, I try to keep track of most things, but I'm certainly not going to try and keep track of scraps. That would just, that would be above and beyond the call of duty as far as I'm concerned. Right. Let's take that off there. Take this bit down from here. Those little pieces will probably end up with stamped numbers on them. Right, so I'm not going to do the edges. Uh, let's just grab a bit of paper I had before. I'm just going to stick the word down because it's only on coffee dyed paper. Actually, it's not even coffee dyed paper. It's vintage book paper because it came out of a music book. So let's just take that off there. Pop that on there. Put that to one side so I don't restick really myself to it. Um, what else can we do on here? Right, so it's symphony. Symphony probably dictates a bit of music to me. So let's put a little bit of music on here. Let's tear this down a smidgen. Smidgen obviously being a technical word here. Right, that's okay by right there. I'd like something to go across there. I wonder, that's a bit shiny for me. I'm not overly keen on shiny paper. Um, let's dig through this. Right, I keep going back to the purple because I really like the purple. So we'll put that to one side and see if I can find anything else. Otherwise, we'll go to purple. Actually, that's... That's kind of interesting. Merges too much into the background. What's this dragonflies? It's still not, it's not popping. That's a very vibrant green. Oh, what's this? That's kind of okay. Don't know what that came from, but that's kind of okay. Let's see if I can get a thin enough strip of that to put across there. Don't want a humongous piece of it. Um, I'm doing this. This is a mixture of paper and craft card and basically whatever is in my scraps. So be aware that you can use anything to do clusters, guys. Absolutely anything. Do I want it to be that long? Maybe I don't. Let's take that off there. Right. 
And I'm going to glue down the end of this because I'm only putting one staple in this. Come on, Mr. Glue. I know you want to play. So did anyone else talk to their glue? I pretty much talked to all of my supplies. Pretty much because there's no one else to talk to in this room. Is that sad? Do you think that's sad? There's no one else in here except me. Me and the plants. I couldn't have a better company, I say. Well, actually, I just thought I've got one of these as well. That's a bit much. Right, I think I need something a little bit more than just a butterfly there. But, oh, there's another cluster. I, I'll put that to one side, but no, I've done that one. Right, so we've got that. Yes, let's just put the staple through that one. Hold everything in place. I've got a feeling I'm going to want to put something there. So this is oranges. I would probably reach for a purple. Let's do quite a vibrant purple because this is quite a vibrant background. Right, so that's going to be my little butterfly. Is there anything left in this art litter? I do have a brand new bottle within arm's reach but I refuse to waste any of the Art Litter Glue. If I can get any more out of this, I'm going to. Art Litter Glue isn't cheap. Mind you saying that, my Art Litter Glue lasts for absolutely ages. So, right, that's that there. Now, I'm thinking, I pulled out one of these earlier on, and I'm wondering whether that would look a nice... Do you think that's too much? Maybe it isn't too much. Who's to say it's too much? Let's just get it on there. Come on, don't make me pull out the fabric tack. I don't think you've seen the mess I can get into with fabric tack. Right, so let's just flip this around. Okay, that's not bad, I can deal with that. Now let's have a look at this one. This one, I have no idea why it's not being finished. I must have been doing something and got distracted and, and that's the result. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, that's different. Right, I'm going to glue that in place. Don't ask me, guys. I'm just playing. I think that's one of the things I love doing with um, art. It's just a case of I can just play. So this was one I hadn't planned to use for some unknown reason. Okay, so that's given me that. It needs some help, though. Definitely needs some help. Um... What else have I got that can go on here? Pop back into these. I'm wondering about... Would I really put a butterfly on this cluster, though, if I've got mushrooms on it? Probably not. Can you see those? So I'm, I'm rooting through these here. Tracy Fox labels. These are a digital download, by the way. If you go to... Etsy and look up um, Love Junk Journals, that's that's Tracy Fox. Let's pop that on there. I'm not sure this is working for me actually. This this may not be one of my favourites. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink around the edge of here because I think it requires it. Or else it's gonna look a little bit bland. I wonder what else I've got that can go onto this cluster. And then I just want to do one more thing after that, and then I think we'll be calling it done. Let's put a little bit of glue oh, on the back of this. Try not to get glue on this mat, because every other mat that I've got is covered in glue. Let's put that on there. Now this needs a little something there, doesn't it? Just a little itsy bitsy teeny weeny something. I wonder. 
that's way too busy. What was I thinking? Um, a ticket maybe? This is a very, very busy cluster. It needs something to calm it down, I think. Actually, I've got these. Oh, just crush my butterflies. I've got these now. These are just clippings from um, a book that I had. That's the wrong thing, isn't it? I'm not sure I'm going to... I wonder. Right. That's a much more interesting cluster right there. So let's just do that to that. Um, I would like to put a bus fly on here. I think I'd quite like something that really pops out. And this orange one here is talking to me. If I put him up there. Actually, let's just do this. It's a little... I don't even know what this came from. It, it was part of... You know, sometimes when you buy um, bundles of ephemera at craft shows, um, I think this was possibly something from one of those purchases. And I would say as it's... I think that, is that the Liberty Bell on it? If it's the Liberty Bell, then I'm guessing it must have been an American craft show. Just sit him on there with the tweezers gone. Right, there you go. So, um, what I want to do though is I've got one of these, it's a time card. Um, and I do these a lot for my journals, they're a long time card. I basically just either ink them or I coffee dye them. And I fold them up and make a little pocket out of it so something can sit in and put a notch on. And I thought it would be a great place just to take one of these clusters and boom, it's finished. So just seeing what a difference each cluster would make on this. Now some of these clusters are going to be too big. So let's let's not get judgy about this, but that one looks lovely. In fact, I would probably put some coffee dyed paper behind it on this one. This one, however, is quite cute on there. This one is very cute on there, actually. That's probably my favourite so far. Um, too big, too big. The one I did before. I sure quite like that one too. This is probably too big. Oh, takes up the whole front, so there you go. The other one's a bit unsure about the one I've just done. I think I like this one. I think we're going to stick that one on, guys. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. Um, clusters have been done by hundreds, if not thousands, of other YouTubers. Um, their look depends on your personal style and also the style and type of scraps that you make or have. Um, so always use your scraps, always do clusters. They're a useful thing to actually keep in one place. Just holding this down for a second, guys. Um, and they're just a fun thing to have. And you put them in a box and look, I mean, what's, what's the time? I've been at this, I think it might be about, I don't know, I can't see the number on my on my clock. But anyway, in a short amount of time, let's just move that lot over to one side. You can see that we've actually generated quite a lot there. And I've only used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of the butterflies out of these sheets. As I said, hot tip for you, if you do buy these, keep them on the sheet. Don't do what I did and put them in here because it's far easier to find a butterfly on here than it is in the box. So... Let's move those to one side. So this is a product. Um, yes, I'm happier they've sent it to me. I'm very pleased that I got to play with it. I would say if you're just starting out, by all means, go ahead. If it's within your budget, go ahead and order it. And what that means is you will have something that is starting your stash of butterflies off in a lovely way. So I think that's enough from me, guys. I think I'm done. So that was me giving a bit of a review about the K2 Designs Butterflies. Oh, I can see the time. Okay, 40 minutes. So 40 minutes, 
I would probably say I must have spent about 30 minutes creating that lot and talking through. So for me, I'm Kerry the Crafter, that's C-E-R-I, the Crafter. Until next time, bye-bye now.